Rocco Bresniak here, 2022 third baseman, Louisville commit. This is what's in my baseball bag. Started off, I got this bag uh, at the PG National this past year. Happened last month in July at Tropicana. Sponsored by uh, Top Chops. It's a Mark by Marco Pro uh, Rollins bag. Started off, got my uh, EAAs and BCAs by uh, Axe and Sledge, the grind. BCAs is something I usually tend to take before or after my lifts. Helps with muscle recovery, muscle hydration. Got the good old Dodge Durango car keys. Got a belt, you always need yourself one of these. Make sure the pants aren't falling down or whatever. These are my uh, University of Louisville slides. Usually what I like to throw on after the game. Nice, comfortable, nice, comfortable fit. This is my baby right here. This is uh, my third baseman mitt. This is my go-to glove, of course. Obviously, had this glove for now about two and a half, three years pushing. So three different seasons, still lasting me. Leather's still good, all still tight, all still ready to go. Jaeger bands. Jaeger bands are extremely important for uh, arm arm care, arm recovery, getting your arm loose, your rotator cuff loose, your elbow loose, shoulder loose, joint mobility work, all that. I usually like using these bad boys before I go out and long toss, before a game, before a showcase, before whatever, to get loose, get ready, get the arm nice and live, nice and hot. This is my uh, G-form arm sleeve right here. Put it on uh, left arm here. When you're up at the plate, I usually wear it sometimes in practice, look a little swaggy with it. Got this actually at the, uh, the PG National as well to give it uh, to everyone who attended the showcase. Usually like wearing this, obviously you guys already know, it protects you from getting hit with the ball, pitcher throwing at you or whatever. This is my A2000, Wilson A2000, first baseman's mitt. Had this baby and this one for the same amount of time. We got them like the same around time, same exact time. Had this one two and a half, three years as well. Used to be a primary first baseman, then uh, switched to third base and everything, but I still get the reps in at first. Usually when uh, need a little rest with the arm or something, get moved over to first. Always need this on hand. This is the, uh, just a plain white helmet. Used to be, uh, you can sort of see it has the outline of an F. Used to be my helmet for the Florida Hurricanes. Had this bad boy alongside two and a half, three years. So these are usually, uh, these are Under Armour baseball gloves, just your regular batting gloves. Only had these for about a month and a half or so and they're already pretty worn out. Ripped up and everything, but usually my go-to, my game uh, used batting gloves this past summer. These are my other batting gloves. Well, these aren't batting gloves. These are uh, actually football lineman gloves, uh, receiver gloves. And these I'm a big fan of because they just, there's no possible way these rip in. I've used these for about six months now and there's not a single hole, single anything in these. These bad boys will last you a long time. In here, got the pocket radar, of course. I'm big on the pocket radar. Let's you know how hard you're in the ball, your exit velocity, arm velocity, you can gauge whatever, all with a simple, just a simple hold of the blue button. I'm big on using it for my exit velo, of course, preparing for a showcase. I like to, someone stand behind me, record my swings, record how fast I'm throwing. Very important tool, in my opinion. And here, just another random uh, batting glove. Sometimes I like to do the Will Meyer style and just hit with a, left-handed batting glove, leave the right one empty. This right here is my go-to wood bat. It's probably my fourth fourth AP5 model, Albert Pujols. Marucci bat, of course. This is my, yeah, like I said, third or fourth model of AP5. 
very big fan of this bat. Love the way it's the pop. Love the way the sound, the wood, the way it cracks. What size is it? 3330. This right here is my uh the Easton ADV 360. Minus three, 34, 31. This is my high school bat and uh, everything nowadays is usually a perfect game. It's wood bat, but when I'm allowed to use metal or whatever, this is usually my go-to bat. Again, love the way the pop this bat has and love the way it sounds when you find the sweet spot. And it's also balanced too. Usually a lot of like uh, composite and uh, power header bats are usually more end weighted. This is balanced. I feel like I get really fast to the zone. Really big fan of this one. Always been a more of an Easton guy when it came to metal. And then always been a Marucci AP5 guy when it came to wood. Ow. Last but not least, got the metal cleats, just your basic, regular. I don't like to get too fancy with the cleats or anything. I just feel like wear it to get the, all does the same thing. Just a regular Nike baseball cleats. Does the job, fits well, fits really well actually. Feels good around the ankle, good stability, everything, great traction. And that is uh, what's in my baseball bag featuring Rocco Bresniak, 2022 Louisville commit third baseman.